I have some thoughts on the New Yorker's article on students using ChatGPT to cheat their way through college. I graduated in May of 2022 and this article states that ChatGPT came out in November of 2022, meaning that I am literally the last generation of college students to exist without ChatGPT. And I'm not even a generation of co a college student that hasn't existed with it because I've used it in my master's degree. Although I didn't use it as a search engine or a fact checker like a lot of people are using, I used it primarily to help myself code in a language that I didn't know. So what I would do is I would ask it for a line of code. I would check it in my debugger to see if it would work. A lot of the times it wouldn't work because it's chat GBT. So I think it's interesting that they included a fact from this one study from February that states that they found a correlation between a person's confidence in generative AI and reduced critical thinking. This is a quote from one of the students that they interviewed that finds herself using AI every day. Now that she relies on it, she really can't imagine living without it. I fear this is exactly what capitalism wants. <laughs> At this stage in capitalism, they want us to be dependent on as many of their resources as possible. Because you're more likely to pay for a chat GPT subscription if you're dependent on it for thinking and you're in a job where you have to think. I don't know, this article really depressed me. I don't recommend reading it if you are depressed like me, but it was eye-opening. And as someone that is going back to school this fall, I am really scared <laughs> for grading students' papers and stuff. I have an eight semester TA requirement, so.